Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reuse your book designs with other photos. As you may know at this point, in Slideshow Print and Web, we have the ability to save templates, which are our designs, and allow us to apply those designs to other sets of photographs. But here in the book module, we don't have templates. So here's how we can reuse our designs. I have my Coast book here, and as you're familiar with at this point, I've designed my cover, I've got a title page, an introductory page, and then I've got various different photo page formats. And I'd like to be able to use this design at least as a starting point for another set of photos. So I'm going to right click on this saved book, and I'm going to choose to duplicate the book. Now I'm going to right click on the duplicate, and I'm going to rename it to reflect the new photos. So I'll call this abstract book. I'll hit enter. Now this book is simply a collection of photographs with a design associated with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the 26 photos that are currently in the collection. In other words, the coast photos. So I've got the first photo here selected. So I'm going to go to the end of the film strip, hold the shift key down, click on the last photograph to select the whole row, and then I'm going to right click in any one of the thumbnails and I'm going to choose Remove from Collection. So that doesn't delete the photos from Lightroom or from, from the folder that they live in. It just takes them out of this abstract book collection. So you'll see now that my book is now blank. However, it still has all of the page formatting that I've set up. So as I hover over this one, you can see that this particular one has two photo cells. This one has four. Of course, this is much easier to see if I, in fact, turn on the guides. So I've got the photos cleared out here. The next step that I might or might not do would be to clear out all of the text. I probably wouldn't do it in this case. Let me go ahead and double click on this page because I'm thinking that I might keep some of the text, but not all of it. I might keep, for example, the title of this page and then just come in here, click and delete the body of the text. But let's say that, in fact, you did want to remove all of the text at once. You could go up to Edit, select All Text Cells. Now, with them all selected, you could simply hit the Delete key on your keyboard, and they would be cleared out and ready for new text. I'm going to do Control or Command Z on that. So we've got our book cleared out, and now it's time to add different photographs to it. I'm going to go back to the library module, and I've got my abstract book selected here, and I know I've got no photos in the book at this point, but I'm going to select my abstract folder of photos here, and let's say I want to add all of these potentially into my book. So I'm going to do Control or Command A for all, and then I'm going to click from inside one of the thumbnails, drag it down to my abstract book collection here, and then to get back to the book module with this abstract book, I'll click on this little arrow button here. Now I'm back in the book module. I've got my abstract photos. I've got my book design. And now it's simply a matter of clicking and dragging to assign photos into this book design. Now from here, of course, I may go on to modify some of the page formats to better fit this particular set of photographs then I would continue to work on my text here, but I would be done much more quickly than when I created my first book with this design. Okay, so this concludes the video on reusing your book designs.